Good morning everyone, morning. Bill and Carrie here from KB Trex. We hope you're doing well. A little tired, had an early morning, well, realistically late night. <laughs> but, so here's the deal. So, uh, we spent one night at Disney, and now we're going on... A Disney cruise. Yeah! So, uh, we thought this would be a good opportunity to explain. So, there's Magical Express, and another video we showed how you get from the airport to your hotel. Now, if you want to get from your hotel to DCL, or at least the one in uh, Port Canaveral. Port Canaveral. Here's what you got to do. So uh, it is not Magical Express. It is Disney Transport Cruise Line Transportation. There is a charge uh, depending on what port you are from. I believe uh, here it is thirty nine dollars each way per person. Uh, per person, yes. Uh, but it's nice. Uh, again, another perk of it is they take your luggage away from you from your resort. So we are actually we're expecting bellhops to come. Uh, within the next half hour to take our luggage and we will not see it again deal with it again until it shows up magically in our room later this afternoon uh, so they kind of very similar to magic Ex magical express they send you luggage tags you just need to tag each of your bags you just take the tag you rip off the one end and it's got our ship information so we're on the fantasy the second one is your room number, so we are in 8500 and we are forward. Cabin. Uh, yes, cabin. And then uh, your name, and then it has your sale date on there. Uh, so we're going to take both of these up, and voila. Now we are ready uh, for Bell Services to pick up our bags, and we've got our carry-ons. Um, your bags aren't going to arrive until, you know, kind of more later in the afternoon, obviously before the ship takes off. Um, but sometimes they won't even show up in your room until, or actually they, they put them outside your cabin. Um, but it can, it can take a while for your bags to show up. So make sure uh, to pack, you know, they say pack medications. If you plan on going swimming, pack a swimsuit. Uh, some people with early dinner even want to bring a change of clothes for dinner because, I mean, it's not uncommon. Your bags, not all your bags might arrive by the time early dinner rolls around, which is, you know, at five. Uh, so yeah, but we've got everything ready to go. Right now it's about 8 o'clock. They said they were going to be at our room about 8, 8.30 to get our baggage. So we're all packed. So what do you say? We go get some breakfast. Breakfast. And in theory, we'll come back. These will be gone. And we have uh, like three hours from now until the magical, not magical, sorry. Disney, Disney Cruise Transport Line Transportation. Takes us to port. Three hours later. We got breakfast, got hung out. In fact, we got a nap. We in. even took a little nap. So that was awesome. <laughs> and so the next day, when it's time, you go to the lobby and you find, like for us, it was Paul over here. And we check in and he gave us some nice information about the app and checking in and restaurants and all that stuff. And now we have to wait for the bus. We're waiting for the bus. We've got two, we're the first of three stops. He said we're also stopping at Caribbean Beach and we're also stopping at Beach Club. Um, so then we, he said, my, the weather is not the greatest today. Uh, he said, you know, they're running a little behind schedule, but he says we'll still be at the port probably by one o'clock. Yeah. We'll still have time to eat. And actually the nice thing is, it's usually rooms are ready at 1.30, so there's a chance. We might be able to just walk right up to our room and not have to worry about carrying around or carrying on. So, we'll see. Hey, here's our bus. You need to show an ID to get on. There we go. Isn't this nice? We got these nice seats here, aren't yeah. they? And look, of course, right here on the headrest, there are Mickey's. So, Mickey's and Nautical, a oh, little anchors. Yeah, so, I don't know if those count as his Mickey's or not, but. <laughs> And we 
made it. There's our next car home for the week. Eight days actually, Eight days. longer than usual. Disney Fantasy. And so we had a nice little sit back for an hour uh, trip after we went to the other resorts to pick up other guests. And now all we have to do is go through security. And check in. When you get off the bus, you just follow the painted lines to check in. So when I get up here, this is going to be security, so I'm going to have to put the camera away. But there you go. We actually got through security reasonably quick. And here is. Oh, look at that. What a reveal. All right. So we're gonna get in the line and check in. Ready to go in? I am ready. I have been more ready. Uh, I've been ready for a while. Okay. So and we got off our last Disney cruise. And you know it's time to go in when you get the get through the big Mickey. And this is where you're gonna go check in and scan your key of the world for the first yeah. time. Two hours later. Okay, luggage is here. Yay! Everything made it. All we need to do is take it inside. That's all you need to do yeah. for um, the cruise line transportation for Disney. What she said. <laughs> no, so yeah, just throw. It's just like Magical Express. If you watch the other video, you just got to throw the luggage tag on. They come by the hotel, pick it up and you don't see it and then it just shows up in front of your cabin door on your uh, Disney Cruise Line. That is if you're going out of uh, Port Canaveral. Ah. Right. They do have it for some of the other ports, uh, but you have to stay in specific hotels. Prices vary for depending on what port you're staying at. But it's an, I mean, honestly, it's a fantastic service. I, I love it. I mean, I know there's a, one drawback a lot of people complain about is you get to the port late. I love it though because we get to the port, we walk up, we don't have to sit there staring at the you know Mickey ears, waiting to get on board. We just mm -hmm. we walk on board. The rooms are ready. I mean, the few times we've utilized the service, the rooms are ready when we get on the board. So we don't even have to carry our carry-ons around. Mm -hmm. We just come right back up to our room. We drop them off. We go eat lunch. Everyone else has eaten pretty much at this point. I, I love those aspects of it. Yeah. I mean, yes, if you're one who wants to be at the port right away, you're not gonna wanna use this, mm -hmm. but I think it's fantastic. Okay. So that's gonna do it for your uh, this video on how, to, how the whole uh, transportation system luggage thing works from, the, uh, ho from your Disney World Resort to your D DCL ship. So thanks for joining us. I uh, hope to see you when we bring up the next video. I'm Bill. And I'm Carrie. And you've been watching KB Treks. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Good luck and have fun. Bye.